Previously on Project Monaro, we were at Holden HQ, where Lounsey spoke with some of the Holden designers and discussed what's planned for this one-of-a-kind Monaro. Since then, our 2004 Monaro has been sent to a Holden dealer, where their expert service technicians have gone over the car from top to bottom. With over 200,000 kilometres on the odometer, Project Monaro is going to need a swag of Holden Genuine and AC Delco parts to bring it back to life. The front end and drive line has been lowered out of the car, with the engine being shipped off to Morris Fabietti from the AC Delco racing team for a complete overhaul, and the interior has been pulled out and sent off to the trimmers. The shell was then transported to one of Holden's certified collision repairers, B&A Motor Body Repairs in Clayton, Victoria, where the strip down has started. Some of the panels have seen better days, but this classic is going to be barely recognisable when B&A are done with it, once it's been hit with a stunning fresh coat of PPG paint. Hi everyone, today we're here at Rebel Holden Racing Team Headquarters based in Queensland. We're also going to talk more about the plans for the performance upgrade for Project Monaro and also talk to the team and see how they're going to help us out. But let's head in and see what's going on. Now, can you fill us in a little bit more about the performance for the Project Monaro? You, you teased us a little bit on the first episode. Yeah, sure. So, as you know, we, uh, we really want to hit the big three. We wanted to hit the go, the stop and the turn. Yep. It's got to be better than it ever has before. So, to start with the go, yep. the LS1 engine is going to get a full rebuild. The car's done over 200,000 K and is running yep. really strong, but we thought it'd be nice to give it a refresh. So. We've ordered all genuine components, okay. uh, all holding genuine parts, then that'll get put into the kit. Morris Fabietti, who's yes. our AC Delco uh, drag racer, and he's going to be doing the engine rebuild, so that'll be covered in the next video. Yeah, looking it forward to that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've also ordered a hot cam from Chevrolet Performance. Nice. So yeah, that gets to go in the car. Should really pick up uh, that mid to, to high range and really boost the power, get uh, some good power gain. Awesome. To uh, stop as quick as we can, we're going to put Brembo brakes on it. Okay. These are very similar to the limited edition uh, 2017 Commodores that we built. Um, similar rotor and caliper that we used. Almost as good as the, uh, <laughs> as the V8 supercar and they're certainly inspired by supercar. Um, but yeah, we're running this, this Brembo brake package which will really stop the car well. And the good thing is about all these components, you, people can still buy these. Absolutely, yeah, these are all uh, available genuine parts. Yeah, great. So with all the horsepower that we're going to produce, we need to then go through the transmission. Yes, absolutely. Now, explain to me this one because I know this one really well. This is out of the race car. Yeah. <laughs> so this one's a great one. This one's a little different. So this is a uh, Holden genuine remanufactured transmission. Yep. So GM have, you know, hundreds of thousands of these transmissions in cars around the world. And the remanufacturing program, basically we get the learnings from all of those vehicles and we uh, remanufacture these with all of those learnings put in them. So these come out better than what they were originally. They're a really good unit and that'll help the reliability of the car for many years to come. And this is going to take on all the horsepower we're gonna be plonking right here. Absolutely. So we've talked about the motor, the transmission, but for race drivers, you want to get it all to the ground. Absolutely, so yeah, the tyre plays a big part in that. So this is Bridgestone's all new ultra high performance uh, replacement tyre. Bridgestone has been on Monaro since day one, and uh, so it's nice that we're, we're fitting a, a Bridgestone back on the vehicle. Yeah, this tyre, in terms of wet performance, dry handling, is really a step over where they were for the S001. Which is great, because obviously a race car, you don't have the grooves and everything you need, because very different style, but uh, yeah, it's great that uh, Bridgestone had come back on board. Yeah. But I'm really looking forward to putting all this together in the last episode when you and I get to try the Monaro down the proving ground. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to shake it down. Now the race team have got involved in the suspension side through one of their partners in Saks. Saks Performance are going to be on the car build. With me right now is Mark Dutton. He is the race team manager. Suspension is a big part of the whole race car and it's going to be a big part of this build. Mate, as you know, Saks, we've had a relationship with them over 15 years now. now I can't remember a race we've won uh, without riding on Saks, so 
you know, Bathurst last year, you know, obviously got up there, mate. So we always do it. It's such an important part of, of a race car. At the racetrack, as you know, it's our biggest tuning tool. Springs, dampers, that's what we're changing every practice session yep. as quick as we can to tune the car. I think it's something that a lot of people forget about on the road cars. Everyone's first thought goes to, let's have more grunt, more grunt, more grunt. Unfortunately, there's speed limits to that. What there isn't is stopping limits, handling limits. So that's where this Monaria is gonna be a step above most road cars is the attention that's being put into that, the, the equipment, the sack dampers, shock absorbers there, front and rear, eye bark springs, roll bars, different bump stops. It's actually gonna be a, a pretty cool car. It's been tuned right here at the race shop to suit the Monaro specifically. So the springs, the dampers, you know, we're gonna drop it. It's gonna have some really good stance there, being about 20 mil lower, yep. increase the damping. So you've got really good ride control, dynamically you'll handle fantastically. On the styling side as well, we wanna do a few bespoke things. So we're gonna start with the, uh, the standard intake and uh, make it a little bit special. Okay. Uh, Evoke 3D teamed with HP, they're our printing partner. Yep. Um, and it's been such a big step up from the usual 3D printing. It, it is parts that you can actually put on the road car or, or a race car. So if you look at parts like the like the steering wheel here, the the, the button cover at the back is, is just second to none. You know, fuel intake, the, yeah. the quality and the usability of, the, of Evoke 3D printing um, ha has made us lift our game there. So the fact that we can also put some of this stuff on the Monaro yep. uh, is, is pretty exciting. You know, previously you, you definitely couldn't. The finish wasn't there, the quality wasn't there. We need to put on a part that doesn't just look good on day one when we roll it out, it's got to last. <laughs> So I'm here with Jess, who is part of the commercial team here at the race team. The Monaro is not the only prize that we're giving away in this promotion, so Holden are putting together a great array of prizes. Explain to us, what are they? Yeah, we've got some fantastic, uh, fantastic items up to grabs. It's stuff that money really can't buy, to be honest. Uh, we've got uh, this rim and tyre here that's going to be turned into a really cool coffee table. Nice. We've got one of your 2019 race suits up for grabs, as well as one of the bonnets straight off of one of the RBHRT race cars. Nice. We've also got some very special champagne bottles that will come straight off one of the supercars podiums amongst loads of other really cool right. stuff. Um, what about this uh, trophy? Can I keep this? I think you're going to have to win it back this year, I reckon. Mm, okay, we'll do our best. That sounds like an ultimate Holden garage though, but there's not only just this, there's other team partners that are also giving away some prizes. Yeah, our partners have been fantastic in, uh, in contributing some prizes. So we've got a gear wrench toolkit, top of the range, that's up for grabs. Also a year's supply of Red Bull. Well, that'd be nice. And also Holden are giving away some merchandising packs from the Red Bull Holden Racing Team every month. So it's going to be a cracking promotion. Now don't forget, you can win Project Monaro or these ultimate garage prizes, but you need to be in it to win it. How do you enter? It's simple. Just buy Holden Genuine or AC Delco parts, or visit your local Holden dealer service department. Stay tuned for the next episode where we check in on how the Monaro bodywork is coming together, as well as checking out the engine and transmission builds. See you then. <laughs>